Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons. Today I have prepared a problem about color blindness. And as usual, I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve this problem on your oven first, and when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is a problem. If Jennifer is normal and is not a carrier, but her husband James is colorblind, what are the chances of question A? the daughter Jean being colorblind. So in order to solve this problem, let's first list all the possible genotypes and I want to mention that this is X-link uh, recessive genetic disorder. So the first variant would be when female would be normal, phenotypically and genotypical. That means that she would have two normal X chromosomes. Second variant would be when uh, female would be a carrier, so she would have one normal chromosome and one chromosome with gene, defective gene on it. So, and third variant would be when uh, female would have two defective X chromosomes. So, X, X. And for the male, male can be phenotypically normal. So his genotype would be XY. Male has uh, two sex chromosomes. One is Y chromosome, another is X chromosome. And uh, second variant would be uh, one defective X chromosome or defective gene on this X chromosome and one normal Y chromosome. So as you see, there is three genotypic variants for the female and two uh, genotypic variants for the male and this two would mean normal phenotype so this female wouldn't be affected if uh, she would have two normal X chromosomes or one normal and one defective because uh, this is recessive genetic disorder and one normal X chromosome would be enough in order to produce normal protein. And uh, males may have only two variants because males has Y chromosome and uh, two variants whether they can have normal X chromosome or defective X chromosome. We told that uh, we have uh, James who is colorblind and his uh, uh, wife Jennifer who is normal. And that means, uh, and also we told that she is not a carrier. So that means that her genotype would be this one. And we told that uh, husband James is colorblind. That means this genotype. So now we can easily solve this problem if we'll build a Punnett square. So here would be genotype of the Jennifer. And uh, on the other side would be genotype of the James. James uh, would be affected with this genetic disorder. And when we build a Punnett square, we can predict outcome of such a cross, all the possible genotypes, phenotypes, and their frequencies. So here we would have one female that is going to be a carrier. Here we would have also female who is going to be a carrier. Here we would have phenotypically normal male and here we also would have phenotypically normal male. So once again this is going to be genotypes of the males and this is going to be genotypes of the females progeny in this family. So uh, now we can answer our question, the daughter gene being colorblind. And as you see, 100% of the daughters in this family would be carers, but wouldn't be colorblind. So we can answer this question as chances is 0%. And question P of the son Joy being colorblind. And as you see, according to the Punnett square, 100% of the male progeny in this family would be 
phenotypically and genotypically normal. So chances for the uh, males in this family to be colorblind also would be 0%. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.